Good afternoon. Hey, I'm Matt Sampson. I'm a pediatric nephrologist and genetic epidemiologist here at Mock Children's Hospital. And I'm looking forward to a fun day today with a bunch of my little colleagues. Hey, look who's in the car. It is Brody. And here's Stella. Oh, look who's coming, guys. We got Emma Kate. All right, come on in. How are you doing? Okay, Let's look see who's here. On. Look who's here. It's Bentley. Hey, Bentley. All right, come on in. Who we got here? Is that Jackson's van? I think we got the whole ship. You ready to sail? Do you guys want to do some drawing? Yeah. Do you guys want to do some eating? No. So, do you know what, I, what kind of person I am? Am I a fireman? Am I, am I a policeman? No. Am I a clown? No. Am I a doctor? Yes. I am a doctor. Do you think that I'm the perfect doctor? No way. How about we all get together and we try to design the perfect doctor? Yeah. <laughs> So, today, I want to introduce you guys to Mr. G. Can you guys say hi to Mr. G? He's going to help us to draw the perfect doctor. What would a perfect doctor have? Goggles. Goggles. Okay. Roller skates on the beach. Oh, roller skates? Okay. The doctors at Mott need to be fast to see all the kids from all over Michigan and Ohio and all over the... USA, yeah, and the world. What do, what do doctors listen to? Foreheads? <laughs> Does a doctor listen to your forehead? He should probably have four, six arms like one right here. That could work. I see a creepy eyes. Do you think that you guys would maybe make better looking doctors than this doctor? How about we go figure out what it looks like when you guys are doctors? How's that sound? Yeah. Yeah? When I was getting calls in the middle of the night on all of my medical school rotations, it was the calls on the pediatric service at 2 in the morning or at 4 in the morning that didn't bother me at all. I think the process of bringing a family who's in a crisis or with a child who's critically ill to a point in which it's better reminds me of, of um, movement around an equilibrium. So I often say that when a parent comes in with a sick child, the child's health and the parent's emotions around the situation is vibrating in very large amplitudes. There are many highs and lows, and emotions range from anger or grief or fear or excitement. And to be able to be part of that team where we can all come together around one child is really meaningful for me. And then to see the next morning or the next evening the result of either a blood test or an imaging study and to come in the morning to open the computer and see that patient's kidney function got better or their, their heart function improved. That's a heck of a feeling and I, re we really, feel like, I really feel like I win when that, when that happens. What do you think is better, french fries or medicine? Medicine. Yeah. French fries. Oh, did I give you the hot sauce by accident? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that your mommies and daddies would be good doctors? No. Should you stay up all night eating candy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I don't know. I, I don't just take care of kids in front of me with stethoscopes. You know what else I do? No. I work in a laboratory. I already know that. You knew? How did you know that? Because I'm a scientist. You're a scientist and I'm a scientist too. A lot of doctors at Mott both take care and, of kids. And I'm a scientist too. Yeah? And what do you think? You think that if people were hanging out in Ann Arbor or you met something, someone, how would you ask one of these people who love Mott and love children, how would you ask them to maybe donate some of the money that they've earned in their whole life 
How do you ask them to give some of that money to Mott to help find the right cures for the right kid at the right time? Can I have some money? You'd ask nicely, right? And, and then, yeah. and then. Say, give me some money, please. Give me some money. I don't know. I don't know. I could talk all day about taking care of kids and doing research because I love it. For me, working with kids has always been effortless. And stick what? your ear, stick your fly in your ear. Uh, you know what? I will not stick my fry in my ear.